Hi guys, today I'm going to make my all time favorite recipe. Yes, it's very simple and it's something mum used to make for me and I can't get enough of them. Homemade scones. Okay, so you want to start with two cups of self raising flour. Now, you want to make sure it's been completely, completely um, whisked down, just to get all those lumpy bits out. Next, you want to add a tablespoon of caster sugar, and then just a pinch of salt. Not too much. Now, to a different bowl, you want to add one egg, a quarter cup of olive oil, a one-third cup of milk and a quarter cup of lukewarm water okay once you've got all your ingredients in give it a good whisk to break it up to mix it in nicely once it's all whisked in nicely simply add your wet mix to the dry mix like so. Okay, now you just want to give it in a good stir until it turns into a dough. You want it to be perfectly consistent. Okay, you're going to get to a certain point where you can't mix it anymore, so make sure you wash your hands thoroughly. And this is where it gets a little messy. So give it a good mix in, just like mum used to make. Make sure your hands are slightly, slightly wet when you start so it won't stick as much, but you know, I wet mine and it's still sticking, so what are you going to do? Now if you find it's coming out too dry, don't be afraid to add a little bit of water to mix it in better. But like this one, it's just a little bit wet and sticky. So I just add some more salt frozen flour, mix it in. When it's too sticky, it's just too hard to work with when it comes to roll. Okay, so it's pretty much not sticking to my hand compared to the last time, so it's a lot better. You're gonna get your chopping board. Now there's a little hint. Always throw just a bit of your flour on there. Just mix it in there a little bit. It'll prevent the dough from sticking to the board. Yeah, whacked it on there. Now the same also goes for the roller. Let's get some of that just put it in there. That'll save you a big headache later on. Okay. So once you've done that, just give it a good roll in. Gonna roll it out till it's a consistent thickness on all sides. Okay, so once it's all a uniform, uniform height, the old trick mum used to teach me, just simply get a cup, make a hole there, give it a couple of turns, and it just goes straight on the tray. So we'll repeat that. Okay, so you get to the point where you can't cut any more off. It's just a matter of once again, make it into another ball and roll her out again. Okay, once you've completed all the cutting of the scones, just put a little bit of milk in the cup. Let's get your brush, and you just want to lightly brush each one on the top. This will help make it nice and brown and seal it just on the top as it's in the oven. Okay, so once you've buttered all the all your scones, simply place them inside a inside an oven, a, a preheated oven at 200 degrees for about 10 minutes until they're risen and slightly golden. Hey guys, here we go. The nice and risen 
golden brown on top. Perfect. Let's give one of these bad boys a go, eh? Okay, so the way mum's mum told her, and the way my mum has told me, the only way to open up a scone is to break it open, never cut it. For some reason, it tastes better. I don't know. It's just happened now. That's just how I do it. So I like to have it with butter and jam. Without the extra jam. <laughs> Butter and jam, let's give this a go. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Now that is just simply delish. Oh yeah, that is pretty damn good. Just like mum used to make. Alright guys, thanks for watching and look out for my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up. Catch you later.